Hey guys, it's Griffin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a t uh, Cinema 4D text render, but I'm going to go in depth, unlike last time, and show you how to make a material and do tilting and, like, adding fillers and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get right into it. So, I'm just going to open my, the Lightroom that I use. If you don't have Robbie's Lightroom, just I'll have a download link in the description. It's a free Lightroom, so it's not like I'm stealing for you guys or anything. But... Yeah, just open that once you have it, then, or use whatever Lightroom you want to use. But, yeah, now, once you have it open, your Lightroom, just open a Mo text, and then drag it up, so you can see it. Make it smaller, move it again, and then rotate it. And then I'm just going to change the font to, I, I'm going to use Gotham. Bold. If you don't have it, uh, just you can get it from defawn.com or you can get it from my font pack that I uploaded. Uh, I'm just gonna change it to. I'm gonna make it all caps and just have it say text for tutorial purposes. And then, yeah. So now you have your text in front of you. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start making our material. So what you're gonna do is go down here and just double click to make a new material. And then. Go on Google and just look up grunge texture or just whatever kind of material or texture you want to put on your text. So I already have one I want to use. So double click your material, go to color, texture, load image, and then load whatever one you want to use. I'm going to use a grunge texture. And then click no. So as you can see it loaded the image onto your material ball thing. And then we're going to check displacement, we're going to add some displacement to it, and then go to texture, load image like you did last time, and open the same image, no, and then I'm going to put it to like 28, yeah, that's good. So then drag it onto your Motex, the material, and then as you can see the material is only on the side, so we're going to click the material up there, then change the UVW mapping to cubic, and then it surrounds it, and also put it to seamless. So, pre just pre-render it, let's see how this looks. It's not a super high quality uh, fixture, so as you can see it's kind of blurry, but yeah. Uh, actually, I'm going to take the displacement off because it really doesn't look very good for this texture, but uh, you can leave it on if you want. And now what we're going to do now is add a fillet cap. So if you don't know what that is, I'll show you in a sec. Just highlight your text, do Control c Control v to duplicate it. And with, with your text that you just made, that you duplicated, go to Caps, then Start, Cap, and then Fill it. And then I'm going to put it to like 0.3 centimeters. And then just drag it forward a little bit so it's over first text and then pre-render it and see how that looks with a fillet so it looks pretty nice as you can see it has an outline now well fill it uh, and I'm gonna show you guys one more thing just uh, highlight both your text by clicking control then click C on your keyboard and open up both of them until you get the separate letters and then click T for the first one then control then T for the other one to select both of the T's the fillet and the main text then we're just gonna do some random rotation so use the rotate tool and just randomly rotate it and alternate letters each time E control E And let's pre-render that, see it, uh, actually. So just pre-render that. That's just, uh, that's a thing you can do with your text if you want to do that. But if you're going for more of a clean style, then I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's just the style I'm doing right now, like the grunge. So as you can see, it's kind of, all the letters are kind of rotated and it looks pretty cool. But it's kind of dark right now, so we're going to lighten it up a bit. So, 
we're uh, just you can close these now just add a light so we're gonna add a light to make it brighter so go to create and light and just light and then uh, have it so it isn't on your camera so just click that and then as you can see we're um, out of the camera then just drag the light so it's like somewhere in that position so it's kind of above and in front of your text and then drag it so it's like that and just position it right and I'm gonna turn the intensity down intensity down a little bit 70 looks good let's pre-render that Okay, so now as you can see the letters are a little bit brightened up and also also another thing you can do is if your Lightroom is like this you can select both of your text and your camera too and use the rotate tool then drag it just drag up so your texts are facing the lights on top so pre under that and as you'll see it'll be bright too since it's facing the, your Lightroom. So yeah, it's even brighter. But if you want it darker, then just leave it like we had it before. But that's pretty much all I'm showing you guys today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like and comment, and if you're new, subscribe. And also yesterday, as most of you know, I uploaded a DZ Wolf speed art, and I promised you guys if it hit 80 likes, I would put a free PSD in the description so it hit 80 likes so I put the free download in the description so go check that out if you want a free PSD and so that's pretty much it for this tutorial uh yeah I'm out peace